What do you mean? Not every monster is Greek. Oh, welcome. Welcome to World of Monsters. I'm Monster Master Arthur, and welcome to the channel on YouTube that is everything monster. Today, we'll be talking about the Manticore. The Manticore. Manticore. Manticore, also known as the Manticoras, where its name derived the meaning of man-eater, and even when transferred to the Greek language, the name continued to mean the same man-eater, Androphagos. Its ancient origins track back to India, where it was known as the Manticora, and also there's mentioning of its roots in Indonesia. But its first documented recordings go back to Persia, to the first century. Ctesias, a Greek physician and historian, was the first to bring the manticore into Greek-slash-European folklore when he made mention of it in his Indian history. Pausanias, a Greek geographer, was skeptical of Ctesias' writings that the manticore was nothing more than a tiger and that the Indians passed tales of it to further strengthen and demonize the creature they all feared. But nonetheless, Pausanias still noted the creature's odd factors such as having three rows of teeth and a tail that could hurl spines in defense. On the other hand, Aristotle and Pliny the Elder, an author, naturalist, and commander did not share Pausanias' views, and expanded more on the horrifically strange features of this beast. Visual accounts of the manticore were few, but the young were said to be hunted by Indians on elephant back, just before the stingers started to develop on their tails. Close notice should be taken upon Ctesias for stating that he personally saw the manticore in Persia when it was brought as a present from India for the Persian king. This was clearly expressed by Alien, a Roman author and teacher in his writings, as well as many of the detailed features of the manticore. But later, when Apollonius, a Greek philosopher, traveled to India and brought up the existence of the manticore, the only answer that he was met with was by Indi sage Iarchas, stating, I never yet heard of an animal in this country that shoots arrows. And upon further questioning of the manticores, they never have existed at all. So there you have it, folks. But now, jumping into the Greek side of things, the manticore was said to be driven and trapped within the underworld, where it would forever be watched by Hades. Now let's jump more into the appearance of this crazy creature. Ow! Ow! Just kidding. What we all know of the manticore's appearance is that it has the lion body, the human face, sometimes wings, and sometimes a scorpion tail, or the tail of a dragon. But let us delve deeper into the historic details. According to Ctesias, the face was like a man's. The skin was red as a cinnabar. A cinnabar, which is an acidic mercury ore. Large as a lion. Three rows of teeth that were comb-like. That means very, extremely sharp and pointy. Light blue to gray eyes. A scorpion tail with a sting that was more than a cubit long. What is a cubit? Well, in ancient times, a cubit was a measurement from elbow to the tip of the middle finger. That's a pretty freaking long stinger, if you ask me. Also, it had stingers on each and every side of its tail, and one on the top of its head. And the stings were always said to be fatal. It can shoot these poisonous stings from its tail, and if attacked from the back, it can straighten out its tail and even shoot backwards up to 100 feet. Again, they were fatal to all animals, except for the elephant. Those stingers were said to be as thick as rush, a kind of plant, and the voice of the manticore sounded like a panpipe blended with a trumpet. Basically, it made the lion's roar sound like a kitten. Also, under other sources, being known as a mantiger or man-tiger, the manticore was depicted as having monkey feet. Hmm inspired by the baboon, and with having short horns or tusks in its mouth. Bringing up a mix of identity confusion with the Sitiro and the Lampago. Yeah, take a look at those two. Randall Holm III attempted to distinguish the difference between a mantiger and a manticore, with the manticore having a mouth, a smile from ear to ear, literally. A mouth from ear to ear, a huge mouth, and a long neck, and other aforementioned features such as the scorpion tail. Alright, let's drop further into the world of monsters expansion on the appearance of this ferocious and amazing creature. 
With its color, I would go from pale yellows to different tones of reds to browns and very dark browns. It could appear plain colored with a possibly different colored underbelly or as a tiger more striped seeing as it originated from India or possibly other types of feline related patterns out there. Size, I would say from a being as big as a dog to being four times the size of an elephant. Let's have fun with this creature. Let's say maybe the average one is the size of an elephant. But considering the great features the manticore has, make sure you play with it and make your manticore as big as you can and as ferocious as you can. Anatomy, as our research implies, it would be highly muscled and governed by a somewhat human brain. Or maybe they just had that human face exterior to lure their prey in. We'll talk more about the mind in just a moment. Also consider it having some more exoskeleton type parts considering the scorpion tail is an exoskeleton completely different structure than the rest of the seemingly mammalian lion type figure. Therefore your entire manticore could be covered in an exoskeleton or the scorpion tail could actually be a fleshy regular almost lion like tail with spines on it. Also don't forget your manticore could have added tusks horns and spines all over its body, as well as a long neck and a scorpion or dragon tail. Fully furred or fully spined or having spines that are hidden and camouflaged within its fur. So when you go to pet your pet manticore, you get stabbed and killed by accident by its horrendously sharp and poisonous spikes. Crazy! Manes for the males if you're looking at the lion concept. Retractable claws adds to the stealth. Bipedal or quadrupeds take into the consideration of those monkey handed manticore concepts. Maybe your manticore always walks on two legs or it's a quadruped that at times can easily stand up on its hind legs to look further or to look more intimidating to its foe. A bearded or mustached face. A bald head. I just love the concept on the cover of this book. The addition of having wings, if you want your manticore to indeed have wings, would they be dragon-like wings, or would they be feathered wings, or would they be more like the wings of a bat to keep in with the mammalian type of bloodline that your creature might be derived from? Also, with this concept thing, you can have the forepart of the creature much more massive compared to the hindquarters of the creature, kind of like bison, you know, they have that huge powerful front. Now let's jump back into the mind. Would its mind be developed to the point of, say, an ogren, but be too brutal to really coordinate and create its own societies? Or would it be mystically wise and intelligent? Would it be primitive and aggressive or royal in nature? Would the intelligence be of an eight-year-old child or a monkey or an ancient living legend that's been around for hundreds of years? Classification Creature Hybrid Beast and also looking real quick into the symbolism of this monster, its ferocity and terrifying appearance soon made the manticore a symbol of evil and tyranny. And in Europe came to be known as an omen of evil tidings. Basically, bad luck. Thanks for watching the first part of the World of Monsters all about the manticore. Please stay tuned for its strengths and weaknesses. Life, discussing lair, culture, society, food, weapons, rearing young, magic, and more. Also, we'll be going over the power level and similar beasts. And also, we'll be going over its appearances in popular culture. So please check out part two where we're going to have more clips and more awesome photos. Thank you for watching. Please click anywhere on the screen or in the description area below to check out part two of All About the Manticore.